Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am the Sork Sun and this is Daily Rambles. Today we're doing season one, episode three of Sword Art Online 2, called Memories of Fresh Blood. So we start off with a real Sino, and I think her name is Asada, and she gets bullied at school a lot. And basically her friend helps her out and uh oh uh, wait. Uh, this, so this bully wants 10,000 yen from her, which is, I think is a ton of money. I don't know how much that is in U.S. dollars. She says no, and then they threaten her with, uh, weapons. Then she gets sick, and then her friend helps her out. And so they go and to, like, this, um, diner and go talk, and they talk about the game, and then they talk about studies, and basically her friend wants to be a doctor. And her family, and his family owns a hospital. And so she thanks them and leaves, and basically she lives by herself, which I think is crazy because she's like 14, 15 or something like that. How are you living alone at that age? That's unheard of here. And have like a somewhat of a decent apartment. <laughs> Uh, so then she freaks out with a real weapon. Uh, then we have a flashback with onto her at a bank, and the guy comes in to rob it. And she must have been about seven or eight, I feel like, in this, um, or maybe nine. And basically, um, she basically takes the weapon away from the robber and offs him. And um, then we cut to her Sino. Um, so, uh, so basically, um, he asked someone for pressing the button for the alarms, then, um, a, then Sino bites him, takes the weapon, and like I said, awesome dead. So he went on print vacation. So then the mom is scared, she flips out, uh, then, you know, Sino fl fl flips out, then we have the present day where, uh, she throws up. <laughs> Then, because she, like, she still has so much um, post-traumatic stress about it, PTSD about it, she still flips out about it, still sees like, the guy on nightmares and stuff. Then we cut to where uh, Kurito tells Asuna most of his job, and it's going to be at the hospital. She wishes him luck. And then Miss Akai, or Ki, um, is running in vitals, and she rehabbed him last time, so he goes into the game. Then we cut to Rosino, talks to her... Uh, uh, talks to her grandfather, and tells why she plays the game. And it helps her be more... You know, less... She has less post-traumatic stress, PTSD, when she's in the game. And she has more control in the game, so she wants to bring that into the real world. So she's trying to bring that sink confidence into the real world. Then she then she gets into the game and then we cut to where Death Gun wants Senna and that's the end of the episode. I don't know why I said it like that, but I did. Um, my phone, I mean my camera's dying. So I give this a A minus just because the whole living on your own if you're like 14 or 15 or whatever. I feel like you need, at least in America, that's like 18, you go out on your own or whatever. So anyway, that it's bonkers to me. But anyway, other than that, I thought it was a great episode. We get to see why Sino does what she does and how why she acts the way she acts. So we kind of already know this up front, which is pretty super cool. So anyway, that's what we did for this video. So if this video please go to like, comment down below, tell me what you think, degree, disagree, tell me your thoughts down below, and don't forget to subscribe because that helps out the channel a lot. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye everybody.